Dear friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we will see how to implement the Van der Poel equation in Simlay. So before I start our implementation, I like to quickly show you that in Simulink already this model is provided by uh, uh, in Simulink uh, or MATLAB environment ready made and you can open it just by typing VDP in your command window and it will open up the respective model. So we will you can reuse it but in this video we will see how to do it and uh, on your own and try to understand how to actually do the modeling. Okay. So if I simulate it also simulates and gives me some response over here. So we will try to do almost similar in our code as well. So let's begin. So I'll just minimize this. And so yeah, what we are trying to do is we are trying to get the Van der Poel uh, equation uh, model in Simulink. So first let's get the equation. So for any Simulink model, it's very important to get the respective mathematical equation. So we'll just go to Google and search it and uh, yeah so if you notice in google it gives a formula over here itself on the main page however you can go inside this page as well which is a science direct journal and if i scroll somewhere down below yeah so this is a equation what we have to uh, draft in our simulation so i'll just copy this formula come back to my notepad no, it didn't turn up nicely. So then what? I, uh, let me try once again. I'll try from directly from Google search results. Let me see if it retains the format. Yeah, it retains the format here. Perfect. So what we have to do is we have to design this mathematical equation into Simulink. So perfect. I'll just copy this and go to my Simulink. Uh, Okay, so I have to first start a new Simulink model. So I'll just go to Simulink. I start a new model, and over here, probably in annotation, I'll just copy paste this part. Yeah. Okay, I should have created two notations. I think that would have made much better. Yes. Yes. So I have now these two equations, which has to be done over here first let me save this model in our yeah local make sure you don't save it by the same name as vdp although it will work but it's better to avoid any naming conflict so i'll just name it as when the poll equation model yeah no uh, yeah so let's let me a little bit zoom in over here Now let's start. So for each of these derivatives, there should be an integrator block. So first let me put an integrator block, the first one. And this integrator block, one side of this will be x plus, which is this side. And the other side will be the respective integration of that. So let me put one more integrator block because of this second uh, differentiation. And let me join these two. So on joining, this will become my y from the above formula. And this will become my uh, x dash. Yes. And this will be my y dash. So, so basically when you integrate y dash, you get y. And when you integrate y, you get, no, it won't be x dash. Sorry about that. It will be x. Yeah. So x, x, x dash, which is the differentiation of x is equal to y. So this is x, uh, x dash. Okay. So now I think the first part of the equation is done, which is basically this integrated block. Now let's do the second part. So in this, to get the y dash, what we need is we need a summation of this first term and second term, basically a differentiation. So let me quickly put a summation block. I'll just remove this on top. And so and I'll have to change it from plus to minus. Yes. And I'll make it a rectangular shape, which I like prefer. But round will also work. That's just a cosmetic thing. And this will go over here. Perfect. So this becomes my y dash. Now to get the positive part, this is the first term, and the second term is minus x, which is basically nothing but it comes from here. So let me join these two over here like this. Perfect. So this becomes my x. Now for the 
yeah for the first part i need a gain over here which is basically mu so let me put a gain block and name this gain block as nothing but mu and i'll leave the value as one because i think in the uh, default method uh, model also they have used the value as one over here okay i'll just shift it a little bit the right hand side to get me some space over here and no what it is is it should be mu times y multiplied by this term so i need a product over here so which is product and this will go inside this and this should one of the term will be y which is basically nothing but this one so let me bring it like this and the uh, other term will be 1 minus x square so this is not x2 this x square x to the power of 2 so over here i have to bring this part x and make it a square so for that what i can do is i can use something called as square block yeah and over here if i move towards the left so So I have to make it as a x square, yeah, one minus x square. So let me get one thing. Probably let me do one thing first. Bring all a bit on right hand side, so I get some more space here. So I will need another summation block here, which will be one minus. So again, I'll make it as rectangle, and this one will be one plus minus, yeah, and. This will go over here and a constant block probably where I can give the value as 1 will suffice. And this will go here and the output of this will go here. Perfect. Okay. And the input of this x square will be basically the x this part. So I can do one thing. I can just bring this from here and I can make it like something coming from top. And yeah. So I think that's all over here and if I can get the output over here in a scope the way they printed I think the same thing we can do over here so what they are printing is x and the value of y so what is x so I can bring x a little up yeah okay so for that I think I'll first need a mux block where I can add uh, both the single to one so one will be for this x and the other one will be y okay. and this input will go inside this and that's all let me quickly run and see how it happens so i have run it and this is a plot which i get which is basically nothing but a zero so let me see i think something i must be missing out Oh yeah, I think I got it. I had to set the initial condition over here for the this block. So I think that's somewhere around two. If I set it, and you can try with different initial conditions based on the mathematical model, you can do perfect. So I am getting something similar to what uh, we get from the other one. So let me quickly open the other scope, which is the scope that uh, output from the what the MathFox provides the inbuilt uh, model. But however, I think it's for a larger time period. So let me change to the time period to 20 and let's see if I get almost similar. Yeah, perfect. Uh, yeah, I also get the similar output over here. So that's all. I wanted to show you, although this mathematical equation looks a little uh, overwhelming, probably uh, with lots of terms. But if you go step by step, uh, process is pretty simple and straightforward uh, how you can. Uh, create a similar model out of any mathematical equation so this is uh, maybe very useful for any science student who wants to uh, yeah, uh, build a, a similar model to do their study uh, yeah so that's all i hope this video is useful to you if you have any questions or suggestions then please put in the comment section below and if you like this video then please subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day bye